Why do public services need to be privatised? In a modern view of the economy, services in the hands of government should rather be seen as an opportunity for investment. This could generate billions of euros in profit. Services ought to be sold. Fortunately, in the last 30 years, we have seen numerous privatisations. In former East Germany, for example, thanks to a team of international liquidators, it was possible to buy hundreds of public institutions at a very low price, without having to ask for the opinion of the people. In Great Britain, private companies bought the railway network, a wise transaction, since it enabled them to get back the investment payment in subsidies in less than three years. In Paris, water distribution was entirely taken over by private companies. Unfortunately, the city council had to buy it back in 2001, under pressure from the population. Thanks to the crisis, luckily, people are no longer an obstacle. Like in Italy. Although 95% of the population voted against the privatisation of water distribution, which was secured in the constitution, the EU continues to apply pressure to sell the service. The EU demands privatisation in exchange for financial support. In Greece, the railway network, mail delivery, some of its islands and water distribution can be bought for practically nothing, despite resistance from citizens. The perfect opportunity to do business.